fell on my chair. Hey you guys, so today I have an Ultra haul. It's like a mini haul because I didn't get like a lot of stuff, but I got mostly drugstore and then two high end. And I was going in there really just to get drugstore. I was like, I'm just going to get drugstore stuff. And then I saw this one lip gloss and I was like, I must have you. I actually saw a line of them and I just picked one and I was like, okay, just one. Walked off and then I got a travel size of a higher end hair product. So um, it's mostly drugstore. I love drugstore products. I'm a firm believer in them and I love stocking up on drugstore stuff. So it's a very small haul, but I love watching hauls, especially when I'm getting ready to go shopping because it gives me, you know, an insight of some stuff I just have to have. So so these are my favorite, absolute favorite um, lash, false lash, and they are the Ardell Glamour Wispies. They are just so beautiful. They are more glamorous, but they just are so wispy. I don't really favor when they are longer on the ends. I just don't like that look that much. I don't know. It might just be my eye shape. Even on other people, I just love these. These are the ones I use on almost all my clients all the time. I just love these. They're really hard to find though. Ulta has them sometimes and then I've only been able to find them at Target. So um, I've been every time I've been to Target the past few weekends they've been out because I like to keep them in stock. So um, they had two, I had, I'd grabbed the last two pair that Ulta had. They're amaze balls. They're so beautiful. They kind of look intimidating on here a little bit but when they're on the lash they're just so wispy and full and so beautiful. I just love them. So I grabbed two of those. I have lost my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere. I know it's somewhere. But I've been kind of wanting to use powder again um, on top of my foundation in certain areas because it is getting warmer and I am getting more oily for some reason. So I wanted to get a new powder. Um, but I so I ended up getting another one and it's a drugstore one and I used to use this powder several years ago I think I used it until it shattered and it is the Revlon color stay pressed powder This is an awesome powder especially if you have dry skin and you don't want to look cakey This is a great powder. I got it in the, sh the shade light to medium This is an awesome powder if you're wanting to get a drugstore powder I'm gonna do an updated foundation routine because I haven't done one in a very long time so I will use this powder probably because it's probably going to be all drugstore products. Underneath that was the Nearly Naked powders and I picked up the one in Dark which is very very dark if you see it. I wanted to get this because it was on sale for five dollars so I'm guessing they're discontinuing the shade. I love the Nearly Naked foundation. I'll use it off and on but I really like it. It's a really light sheer foundation that just evens out your skin tone. But I wanted to try this powder. I got this one in the dark shade because I figured I could contour with it because you can contour with powders. And this one, because of the foundation being so light, I figured that these, the pressed powder was going to be a very light powder as well, like the foundation is. So I thought it might be great to contour with because it won't be cakey or anything. But I'll let y'all know how this powder is for that. I can't get it open. But like I said, um, I did get it in the shade dark because it'll be perfect to contour with. Then I went over to NYX and I saw online they were buy one get one half off and when I went in store they weren't so I was kind of mad. It didn't even say on it was for online only. I asked lady and she was like if it doesn't ring up on buy one get one half off it's not so I was like fine whatever so I didn't get as much NYX products as I wanted because it's really hard for me to go in there and buy it for full price when I know like probably in two days it's going to be buy one get one half off so I just have buyers and more so I'll be like Mm, nah. So I just got a few things. I did pick up another NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Pink. I have these like everywhere and one time I left one in Andy's truck and it exploded everywhere. He was so mad. <laughs> it was like hot pink lip gloss all over his seats. Ooh. I seem to lose them or something happens to the cap of them. Like right here and it just like pops off. I don't know. I am wearing this today on top of Nude Pink Lip Liner by NYX and I completely filled in and then I just put this on top. This is a beautiful color. I used to wear this all the time. I mean, a lot of people would ask what I had on my lips and it was always this. I've mentioned this in favorites several times. It's just a really pretty nude pink and it's super pigmented. I love this color. And these lip glosses are great. I have like 
a million of them. Then I picked up two pigments. I do love their pigments. I like pigments in general. I love them for weddings because they're sh they're sh they're show pigmented. <laughs> they're so pigmented they show up really well on camera. So I like I picked up a t two of them. This one is in nude, and this one is in mink. Mink is a little bit more coppery, where nude is more um, light, like uh, a light gold color. The packaging to these are really inconvenient. They're, I mean, they're small, so they're nice. However, I can't get this open. <laughs> However, they're just hard to get product out, and when you do, you get a lot out, and they're just a pain. So, here we go. I just wanted to get swatches for you guys. They're really messy. So let me see if I can even get y'all swatches that are decent. So right there we have nude. If you can see, it's really hard to see. They are really pigmented. I'm just trying not to make a crazy mess. And then this one is mink. I have a few of these already, but I just wanted some more that were more neutrally color. Oh, I love this color. I want to go get more. They're really affordable, like $3. Mink is right there. I hope y'all can see those, but they're so pretty. They have a, a lot of sheen to them. If you can see on my fingers, this is nude and this is mink. So beautiful. They are $2.99, so they're an awesome deal. And then the two high-end products I got. This is the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier for color treated hair and it's like a leave-in conditioner. It would be kind of like, and it's a 10. I, I, I compare it to it's a 10 because that's what it reminds me of because it does 21 essential benefits. So I love Pureology. I used to use Pureology all the time when I had extent, like fusion extensions. And when I worked at the hair salon, I used Pureology all the time. But um, I didn't, I got the travel size because Pureology is more expensive. I think the thing was like $25 for the bigger size. So I just got the eight ounce to make sure I liked it and see if it was worth it. I'm sure it is. It smells really clean and fresh. Pureology always smells awesome. It's vegan. It's it's just good. You know, it's everything that will be good for your hair. So I'll let y'all know how I like this. Then the other thing I just had to have, the lip gloss that I had to have, is by Lorac, and it's in their Ultra Ego Lip Gloss Collection. I saw like four shades I just needed, and I was debating which one I wanted to get first. Seriously, fought over it forever. I just couldn't decide what I had to have first. So I went ahead and got this shade because it was limited edition. They're $15, which I think is a good deal because it is a big thing of lip gloss. It's super pigmented. And I mean, MAC lipsticks are 15 too. So I just, I just justified it like that. I love the packaging. It's really sleek and you see the color just bright. This is the color Dream Girl. It is so perfect for the spring and summer. It's just a real girly pink color. I just think it's the perfect pink. And I think it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. I just I just was looking at it like you're perfect. You're just perfect. So <laughs> let me show y'all how pigmented this is. I just, there's so many shades. I wish I could have just picked them all up, but I just, I couldn't. I'm going to go back and get more of them. So I'll show you right here on my hand just how pigmented it is. Wow. Boom. Look how beautiful that color is. I just, I'm dying over it. It's so luscious and just, ugh. It, it has a soft vanilla scent, it says, and it does. I mean, it's, it smells like vanilla, so it doesn't stink. Blue, stop. Blue. It has antioxidants such as acai berry, pomegranate, grape, seed extract, and vitamin C and E. So it's going to keep them nourished without drying them out. Um, comes with a gorgeous range of colors from soft nudes to vivid hues. Uh, it does. I think it had like 20 something shades. I just was like, I was like, how have I never seen these lip glosses? I think they're new. I have no clue, but I need them all. So love that color. Dream Girl is the shade. I can't wait to try this stuff out. If you want any looks with the pearl eyeshadow pigments or that lip gloss and look with the gloss, let me know. I'll probably create one anyways, but just let me know. That's what you'll want to see. I'm definitely going to do an updated foundation routine using drugstore products because I basically just use drugstore products anyways. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I did. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this mini haul and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.